Meet Stephen Wiltshire, a British architectural artist who is one of the most famous autistic artists in the world. Who after flying just once over New York City in a twin minute helicopter ride, created an intricate cityscape drawing on a 19 foot canvas, with unbelievable accuracy purely from memory. Stephen starts by sketching his layout in pencil first and then scales it within the border, first adding in landmarks before filling out in more intricate detail. Landmarks including the Empire States Building and the Chrysler Building can be seen towering above smaller buildings after just three days of drawing. Stephen goes through up to 12 pens as he commits his photographic memory to high grade paper, with the final drawing taking a week to finish. The unbelievably intricate picture was drawn with details of every building sketched into scale and encompasses the five boroughs of New York, New Jersey, Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. So you were probably wondering, how does he do it? Well, Stephen is an autistic savant. He is known for his ability to draw landscapes from memory after seeing them just once. Savant syndrome is a condition in which someone with significant mental disabilities demonstrates certain abilities far in excess of average. The skills at which savants excel are generally related to memory. This may include rapid math calculations, artistic ability, map making or musical ability. Stephen was born in London in 1974 and was mute as a result of autism. Unable to communicate verbally, he turned to other outlets such as drawing. But by the time he was eight, he had already found his niche for drawing buildings. Today, Stephen is a one-of-a-kind landscape artist, having depicted prominent cityscapes such as New York, Tokyo and Rome purely from memory. It goes without saying, Stephen has some amazing drawing skills that work hand in hand with his photographic memory. That being said, despite Stephen's outstanding memory, whilst in Manhattan he still managed to get lost and walk 45 minutes in the wrong direction. So nobody is perfect. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.